So in uh, next topic is multi-level indexing and B-trees. Here the main problem we have to find is, uh, as we have seen before when we tried to sort a file in a disk, uh, in a disk we ended up with uh, problems like uh, we are not able to read a long file into the memory and uh, we wanted solutions for it. That is why we are going for that solution in this uh, topic. Here, even if the uh, file is very large, we have a solution for uh, uh, sorting large files. And here, in this case, when our file is very large, we mainly end up with two problems. The searching is very uh, slow and the th second one is the insertion and deletion is also very slow. So when we handle this problem, we have to handle it in two ways that the searching also becomes faster and the insertion and deletion also becomes faster. So the technique which is used here is indexing with binary search trees. Okay, first it says we will see what are the negative points of a binary search tree. In binary search tree which we have already studied, we usually do, uh, you create a binary search tree of a sorted list. Okay, in the case of binary search tree, the two main problems here are, uh, it is not much fast and it required more number of seeks to access the data. Okay, and the, the strategy which is required to balance the tree in the case of binary search tree was not that much effect, effective. Okay, so these are the two problems in the case of binary search tree. So we, ha we have another solution that is like AB trees and paged binary uh, trees. Okay, so we are trying to overcome the uh, demerits which we have in the case of binary search tree. Okay, so we now will see about ABL tree and uh, paged binary tree. Okay, here this is an example of uh, binary search tree. This is how our binary search tree is being represented as usual which we have already studied. So this is our table which explains the indexes of our data and this is how the tree is being working. Okay, here um, uh, KF it's in the seventh position and then uh, seek seven KF. So it is in the seventh position. That is a root node. Uh, when, uh, as we all already know that every sorted list is put into a binary search tree. So similarly, it is in sorted order, and then we try to create a binary tree. Seven means then we have to see which is our child node. So the child node will be uh, FB that is in three, and then uh, eleven that is SD. Okay, that is K by two. Okay, so we have to find that and then we will be placing the parent node and similarly the child nodes. Okay, similarly for uh, uh, CL1, uh, CL it is 1, so it is 1. Okay, so by uh, 3 by 2, that is being used for finding the index of our data. Okay, similar the tree is being created. So we can tell that this uh, binary tree whichever we create, it is having two pointers and a data field. So this is how it looks like the above tree is uh, the above tree is represented by using a linked list. So this is how every node is having two pointers that is the left left pointer and the right pointer and the data. Okay, the left pointer will be pointing to the left child that is FB and FB will be again having left and right and similarly the right will be pointing to the right node that is SD. Okay, so this is how it works. Now we are having a representation of telling what all uh, does my pointer points to, which node does my pointer points to. So similarly here the root node is 9. Okay, and now here the node 0, FB. FB will be pointing to the left child D, uh, 10. Okay, then right child 8. Okay, similarly we can see this diagram which is uh, uh, showing you the uh, representation of to which node it has been pointing to similar in our tree. Next is indexing with binary search trees the positive aspects of a binary search tree. Here uh, in the case of binary search tree it is not necessary that always my file should be sorted. Uh, 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 it allows you to create a tree uh, without uh, requiring you to sort. As we all previously studied that all or it is always better to sort your data and then put a binary tree but we can also do without sorting uh, by keep, keep on adding the new uh, node into the end of my leaf nodes okay now the only thing which we have to keep in mind is if whether the tree which you create is balanced or unbalanced or unbalanced if it is balanced the 
tree performance will be good in the sense the search will be efficient enough if it is an unbalanced tree in that case the searching will be very difficult and the seeking seeking time will be more okay so now we have to concentrate on having schemes which helps you balance my tree whichever we i create by using binary search key okay so that is why we go for our two techniques that is avl trees and paged binary tree here we go for the first technique that is avl trees in avl tree it allows us to reorganize the nodes uh, uh, whenever it's create uh, whenever it is receiving a new key and it tries to create a tree in such a way that it has an optimal tree structure in the sense it is a height balanced tree or a balanced tree okay that is a main property of avl tree so we can tell an avl tree is a height balanced tree height balanced tree in the sense the always the height of the tree is always the same for every sub tree of a particular root it do doesn't have an imbalanced uh, sub tree okay and you can tell that an avl tree is also known as an hb1 tree what is hb1 tree you can tell it as the maximum allowable difference is one in the sense only one sub tree difference uh, the avl tree can have okay uh, because uh, uh, because it if more than one it is introduced in that case the performance of searching becomes very poor that is why they only allow one maximum difference okay so we can tell uh, height balanced one tree is avl and height balanced k trees in the sense if the my uh, tree is having k out of balanced sub trees in the sense you can call it as an hbk tree okay so this is the example this is an example of an avl tree where it is only having one subtree difference here similarly here also okay in this case we can see that we are having more than one subtree here this is a difference of one and then again it go for a another one so it is having more than one subtree difference okay that is the same case contains here okay so this is not an avl tree okay now we go for an balanced tree and an uh, avl uh, balanced tree and an unbalanced tree difference okay here the input is bcg efda and this is how we can create a balanced tree out of your input so it is similarly d in the 3 then b in the 1 a c okay similarly we are creating our balanced tree if you are creating a tree out of this input in uh, and we are, it is not balanced in that case it will look like this where the performance of searching is very much inefficient or it is very poor okay so here the two features of an avl tree the main important features which we have to keep in mind is it must maximum allow uh, allowable difference must be the minimum level of performance in the sense it it will allow only one difference 